The plan today is to head over to Home Depot and pick up the stuff that we need to winterize the scamp, the uh, RV antifreeze, the pink stuff, and then since Home Depot is on the way to the beach, we're going to take Redford with us. He's allowed to go into Home Depot, which he'll be super excited about, and then we'll stop by the beach and try to get all his energy out. The other thing that I need to get at Home Depot is the black Velcro so I can hang up our Gore-Tex blinds and the Velcro that I need to attach the Reflectex to the windows. So this is all kind of part of the winterizing process for our scamp because we have these extra insulating things for the windows to get everything ready so that we can still use it for a little while as we get farther into the season. Since I was finally done with the process of reupholstering the door, we went ahead and hung up the Gore-Tex curtains. These actually stay on year round. We don't switch these for summer and winter. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once we had that little project out of the way, it was time to take Redford to the beach so he could run around and get some of his energy out. The fall is one of the best times to enjoy the beach. because it's way less crowded. Most of the tourists have gone home, and if you can find a good sunny day where it's not too windy, it's really nice to walk around. You can see Red was having a pretty great time. By October, most of the beaches in the area become dog friendly just until the spring. So we walked as far as we could, but even after October, the dogs are still not allowed to cross over into the wildlife refuge. So that was as far as we were able to go. And it was time for us to turn around now that Redford got his energy out and head to Home Depot, which is also dog friendly. We didn't know this is the first time we brought Red to Home Depot and he loved it. We found the special pink antifreeze that you need to winterize the water system in an RV. We got a few of those. And then I was able to find some different Velcro that I needed to help hang up the curtains and the Reflectex. And then it was back to doing scamp work. There are pretty much always little things around the scamp that need to be fixed or not even so much fixed, not like something broke, but as we use the scamp and kind of see how Patrick and I are able to work around each other and how things manage when we move the scamp, you start to think of little changes that will make the whole process easier. And I kind of like thinking about that stuff. How can we organize better? How can we make the process more efficient? How can we secure things so that when the scamp goes from point A to point B, we can just walk inside and everything is fine. You don't have to clean up a whole bunch of stuff. So one of the things that I wanted to work on was the cargo net that we put underneath the dinette. It's a very nice option. We got that from the previous owners. And what we do when we're packing is we'll usually put our clothes into a bag and some of Redford's stuff under the table and the cargo net holds it in place until we get there. Except the last couple trips, the cargo net doesn't really fit snug. So things were like sliding out or falling over the top of the cargo net. So I've been trying to think of a way to put more points of attachment so that the cargo net actually stays in place with two of my favorite fixes for everything in the RV, which is hot glue and hooks. We've been using a ton of these hooks for storage, for securing cabinets that sometimes open when we're moving. And this is what I'm going to use to 
make sure that the cargo net stays where it's supposed to. We got the Gore-Tex curtain on the window for the scamp door. And Patrick went through and winterized the water system. So he emptied the hot water heater and flushed the pink antifreeze through everything. So that's all set. I didn't record that because you can go on the scamp website and see exactly how to do that. I fixed this corner of the door where I reupholstered over the top of the scamp fur because it was peeling up. There's a piece of metal right on that corner that was pulling up the fabric. So I just cut that off and re-glued. And then inside, just some tiny organization things. I put two pieces of Velcro here. So we have our bug spray and our sunscreen right by the door. We can just grab it when we're outside. We don't have to come all the way in. I got the hooks securing the cargo net much better. And, oh, Redford came to hang out. Hey, Red, what are you doing? <laughs> then I put up our toothbrush holder on the top here. So this thing on Velcros, the toothbrushes are just held in there. And then that piece of Velcro makes sure that they don't fall out. Just to make it a little easier when we're getting ready, we have our toothbrushes right up there and then mouthwash and I'll put a thing for toothpaste right there. So everything is out. I don't have to reset the whole scamp every time we move or go somewhere. So now I'm taking down the summer curtains that are on the windows right now, the real light ones, and I'm going to start working on mounting the Gore-Tex curtains and uh, the Reflectex, which I have to put some Velcro around the windows to hold that in place. So that's the next winterizing project. I put these little ribbons on the ends of the poles that hold the summer curtains on just because otherwise every time we move the scamp, the pole would fall off, the curtains would be all over the place. That was a quick fix. And then I just untie them and the whole thing comes out. Like that. I got all the summer curtains down right there. I'm gonna wash that, push that, put that away for the season, put the poles underneath the bed for storage, and then I'm going to start putting up the Gore-Tex curtains. And I kind of forgot, there's actually this big piece of Gore-Tex that goes over the door, and it Velcros to the scamp fur up at the top there, and then I have to add more Velcro around the sides. And this is such a neat thing because the door is really drafty, the seal around the door is just not the greatest, so having this in place really cuts down on the draft. And then we have the Reflectex for the windows. We didn't use this last year, so I have to kind of go through and figure out which one is for which window and all that good stuff, <laughs> see if they fit well and reattach the Velcro for those two. I started to hang up the Gore-Tex curtains first. <laughs> and This one in the kitchen is so cute. It has these little buttons on it that hold the straps in place, and then you can release that and unroll it which gives a little bit more insulation to this window because I don't think we have Reflectex for that one, or at least I didn't find it yet. It might be in the back. Then I started putting the side ones on and the way that these attach is so clever. So there's just the rough side of the Velcro here, which attaches to the scamp fur and then the strings come up. And I think the other ones were probably supposed to have buttons the way that the one in the kitchen does. The other ones, don't, so I wonder if maybe they weren't finished. I can always add buttons to them, but when I was putting this one up on the side, I realized that I can just loop the string around the holder for the summer curtains, and it actually holds it in place really well. So very, very efficient system here. So let me put the rest of them up and I'll show you what that looks like. It is so pretty outside right now because the plants are starting to turn, the leaves are starting to turn colors. And I got the Gore-Tex blinds up, so I'll show you what that looks like. There's one. 
Here's the sides. And the back. And on the side. <laughs> Red's hanging out in here. He's always in the scamp. If one of us is working on it, he likes to be in there. I'm going to get some buttons to sew onto the other ones. But I think for now, it'll work fine. Oh, and then I have to show you the Gore-Tex for the door. So the roll up here, I put some little tabs to hold that roll up there. And then that comes down. Of course the door would be closed if I was actually sealing up the scamp for the night. Okay, so there's the Gore-Tex that fits over the opening for the door. We would have the outer door closed and then that would just seal everything up. I stuck a couple pieces of Velcro on the wall so that it has a tight fit. So now I'm going to work on the Reflectex. I have to tack down some of the Velcro because some of that's coming up a little bit. Some of the adhesive on the Velcro is getting loose and attach some of the Velcro around the rim of the windows so that we can attach them when it gets really cold and then we'll be ready. I checked each piece of insulation to see how well it fit and how well the Velcro was staying in place and added some Velcro anywhere that there was some air escaping so that it would be better insulated. The neat thing is the windows in this camp have like a two inch rim that goes all the way around them so you can wrap the Reflectex around it so you get even better insulation and really kind of traps the air around the window so pretty efficient. In the next video, I'll show you how all of these different pieces come together to get the scamp ready for some winter camping. Well, you worried about you and me, the injustice, the next president to be. The news and watch hear your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair. To be aware and I'll be there, so don't be scared. Just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And though time flies, we'll have enough to realize.